Hey guys, it's Michael from Cock Chemistry. In today's video, we'll just take a look at different ways that you can determine if a reaction is spontaneous or not. The first method is just to look at the sign of delta G. If delta G is negative, then that means the reaction will be spontaneous. If the sign of delta G is zero, then that means the reaction is at equilibrium. And if the sign is positive, it means that the reaction is not spontaneous in the fourth direction, but it will be spontaneous in the reverse direction. Next, you can take a look at the, del the sign for the delta S of the universe. And it'll be the opposite of the, uh, the pattern for delta G. So if the delta S of the universe is positive, it means that the reaction will be spontaneous. If it's zero, it means the reaction is at equilibrium. And if it's negative, then that means the reaction is not spontaneous. Next, you can take a look at the sign for the cell potential. And that's the same pattern as the sign for delta S. So if it's positive, the reaction will be spontaneous. If it's zero, it means the reaction is at equilibrium. And if it's negative, it means the reaction is not spontaneous. And when I say the reaction is not spontaneous, it's not spontaneous in the fourth direction, but it will be spontaneous going, going backwards. And then lastly, we can take a look at Q versus K. So if Q is less than if Q is less than K, then that means that the reaction will proceed in the forward direction. So you can say that the forward direction, the forward reaction is spontaneous. If Q is equal to K, then that means that the reaction is at equilibrium. And then if Q is less than K, then that means the reaction will go backwards. So the reverse direction will be spontaneous, but the forward reaction will be not spontaneous. Now, this is just a short video to summarize all the, the different rules of how to determine if a reaction is spontaneous or not. If you want to learn how to ace chemistry, if you want to learn what's the best way to study for this class, if you want to learn some neat tricks and tips to take into your exam and do better on them, then you should head over to my website and get this free guide, uh, 12 Secrets to Ace in Chemistry. You can head over to www.conquerchemistry.com slash chemsecrets. I'm going to include a link in the description below. Check it out. I think it's really going to help you and you're going to, you're going to like it. Until next time, keep working hard and continue the good work.